Kelsey McRae has a long list of academic achievements. She was Ducks of Rosewood State High School west of Ipswich and has now received an ATAR score of 96.95. It feels really good, just all that weight and stress off my shoulders now. It's an effort all the more impressive considering she lost her mother to illness. A medical career is now in her sights. I think ever since I was about nine years old I wanted to be a doctor. The class of 2021 is the second cohort to graduate under a new system. More than 27,000 students got an Australian tertiary admission rank. The highest score is 99.95, obtained by 32 of them. Well done, Sam. Well done. My mother was just like, yep, I knew it, but I was more like, <laughs> you know. I'm hoping to do aerospace engineering, hopefully, like at UQ from next year like probably get like a master's degree. The world truly is their oyster. They have done us proud. They have met the challenges of COVID. These young people got into grade 11 and within a matter of a month, we had a COVID pandemic. It's been a time of great anticipation after a tumultuous two years. I obviously saw there was a 99.95, but the like the realisation didn't hit me for a long time. My parents were quite emotional as well, they were crying, so that was, yeah. While the high achievers are being celebrated for their efforts, the main message is that life is so much more than a number. Whether it's good or whether it's bad, don't think too much on it and just be proud of yourself for what you have done so far. You leave school at a time of unimagined possibilities, new jobs coming on, new challenges. Ultimately, we usually end up where it is that we're meant to go. Emma Pollard, ABC News.